ہیں حضرت امام ابو الحسن موسا قاظم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ ہو a great امام from آئمہ اہل بیت he born seven of suffer 128 ہجری and he make پردہ from this دنیا 25th رجب المرجب 183 ہجری دیئے عرفان کے روشن کیے ہیں موسا قاظم نے دیئے عرفان کے روشن کیے ہیں موسا قاظم نے نبی کے عشق کی دولت زمانے میں لٹائی ہے موسا قاظم نے this is the status of حضرت امام موسا قاظم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ the son of حضرت امام جعفر صادق رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ so حضرت شفیق بلخی a great ولی of his time and a great صوفی of his time حضرت شفیق بلکی says once I was in the company and I was traveling with حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم that time شفیق بلکی a great ولی of his time he never introduced himself to حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم he was traveling with حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم and from here you will understand the power of حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ so حضرت شفیق بلکی says I was traveling with حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم so one place we stayed and I was thinking who's this person in my heart Hazrat Shafiq Balki says I can see the noor is coming from his face but I don't know so Hazrat Shafiq Balki says this person is ordinary person so as soon as Hazrat Shafiq Balki says let me go and meet this person who is he so as soon as Hazrat Shafiq Balki came close to Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim so Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim says oh Shafiq یا شفیق so now حضرت شفیق بلکی never tell his name to حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم and حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم say oh شفیق so حضرت شفیق بلکی got shocked and he says that how حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم know my name so then he understood the نور of امام حسین the نور of علی the نور of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم so then he say then he say in his heart he says now I understand the power of حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم and what I was thinking in my heart against حضرت امام موسیٰ قاظم they start traveling and they going towards the حج for travel for Hajj. So as a he on the second when they stayed second place Hazrat Shafiq Balki says let me go and ask forgiveness in the court of Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim. He was thinking in his heart when he came close to Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim. Imam Musa Qazim says oh Shafiq Allah if forgive. I, nothing is in my hand Allah will forgive you oh Shafiq Balkhi so then he understood Shafiq Balkhi understood the power of Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim again then the third my brothers in Islam third place Allahu Akbar Hazrat Shafiq Balkhi says that I in the company of Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim and I understood the power of Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim so third place Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim went close to the river and he had one cup he put the water he put the cup in the water so the cup went in the water so Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim look in the sky Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim says that oh Allah I am the noor of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so I need this cup so the same time cup came up from the water and the water was inside the cup Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim drank half of water from that cup and half what he did he pick up few sand in his hand hand and he throws sand in the cup after that Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim start reading Salah after that Salah finish that Shafiq Balki says oh Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim I want to drink from your cup I want to drink from your cup so Hazrat Shafiq Balki saw that Imam Musa Qazim put sand in the cup in the water so when Hazrat Shafiq Balki drank that water so that water was sweet that water was sweet my brothers in Islam and then from that day Hazrat Shafiq Balki says I did Hajj but I never feel thirsty I never feel thirsty so the water that left by Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim that water quenched my thirst you can understand that the water that cup that water touch with the lip Mubarak of Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim radhi Allah ta'ala anho so yeh shan hai Hazrat Shafiq Balki says from that day I know the power of Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim if this is the power of Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim my brothers in Islam then what will be the power of Imam Hussain radhi Allah ta'ala anho and what will be the power of Hazrat Ali Shir Khuda radhi Allah ta'ala anho yeh shan hai Hazrat Imam Musa Qazim radhi Allah ta'ala anho ki